Okay, this is the second part of my settings video. Um, this video turned out to be slightly larger than I thought it would be, so it's going to have to be in multiple parts. This is, this section will be the FSX config file, and if I can fit it, the graphic setting of the video card. If not, that'll be a third part. Um, first is the um, in the display section of the FSX config file. Um, first you'll notice I'm using a word processor to display this. Do not edit your file in the word processor. You know, you major problems could happen. I'm only using this to view. Um, just use Notepad. Um, okay, getting back to the settings. In the display setting, I have texture bandwidth. Multiply is 200. The default is 40. Uh, consensus is low in numbers is actually better, but um, for some reason, I seem to get better quality with the higher numbers, which is consistent to the way FS2004 used to work. Um, so I use 200. Um, upper frame rate limit is set within a GUI, that's zero. Uh, the wide view aspect, that depends on whether you're using a widescreen um, setting or um, viewing it at normal 4x3 resolution. Um, I set it widescreen. If you're not using widescreen, set it for false. Um, runway lights, scalier. Those are settings that will set the quality of your runway lights um, as far as intensity goes. Um, one being the default. Um, I have it slightly less than that. I find that to be a better setting. If you set it lower than that, you'll get lower intensity lights. Higher than one, you'll get higher intensity lights, almost to a level, even to the level of a bloom without the bloom. Okay, the next screen is the in the file is on the main section. It's the only setting um, that's changed is the fiber frame time fraction. Um, this field doesn't exist but the default is 0 0.33. Uh, you can set it that way or leave it the way it is if you're not going to change it. If you have a system that's better than a Intel CT2 E6600, you can try reducing the number to 0.23 like I have. That will increase your performance a little bit. Um, other than that, um, you should be okay. you should be set with the set there. Okay. Okay. Under the display device section, um, that's the one that describes what video card you have. Um, of course, your video card will be different than mine if it is different. You'll see a line that's not in yours or may not be in yours is uh, MIP bias and set that to 6. Uh, that doesn't impact performance, however it will improve your quality, especially if you have any issues with blurs, uh, blurries. Okay, the next screen is in a terrain section. Uh, these two fields also do not exist. They default, I believe, to 4,500 and 3,000. I have them set to 4,000 3,000. That's the terrain max autogen trees per cell and terrain max autogen buildings per cell setting. These are very important settings. They define how dense your autogen settings are depending on whether you have it set for extremely dense, dense, and so forth. A higher number will um, exponentially increase the amount of autogen, a lower number will exponentially decrease the amount of autogen. Um, I have it set for 4,000, 3,000, works fine for me. If you do have a performance issue, you may want to try setting it down. Uh, Phil Taylor from ACES suggests down to an 800, 600 um, range, trees 800, buildings 600. Um, but that's a matter of what level of performance you want and okay one of the settings that um, you'll see I don't have in my FSX file is the job scheduler section 
which is the affinity mask equals three for CT2 um, um, two core CPU. Um, it would be 15 for um, a, a quad. Um, the reason for that is it, those are the default settings for um, FSX for a duo and a quad system, so it's not really necessary. If in the quad situation where you want to use different um, cores, you may want to um, manually override that, include those settings. Okay. Okay. As I said, I do my anti aliasing within the graphics card, and I do that with via enhancer. Um, although I don't have to have it up to um, get the effects of it, um, but I do set it with in there. Um, as far as in the enhancement section, I have profile set up for anti-aliasing set up for combined 8 times S. This is the new 2.4 whatever um, enhancer. That's the latest beta release. I think it's 2.47. Um, and I set gamma correction. I do not set super or multi transparency AA. If you have the super, if you're using the super aliasing section, that shouldn't be necessary. And anastropic filtering, I have set to eight times. Um, 16 times is actually using a little bit of quality, but um, for some reason, I still have it set for eight times. Um, and it doesn't really affect performance that bad. Um, Vertical sync, um, right now I have it on. Sometimes I turn it off, but I, if I have it off, I get a little waffling on the terrain, so I keep it on um, unless I'm having some um, issues. Okay. Okay, next screen is the optimization screen. Texture filtering, I always use high quality. Um, Trilinear optimization I have off because I use bilinear. Um, anastrophic filter optimization is also off, and same thing with the new anastrophic sample optimization. Or I forget which one's new, but one's new. But I have them both off. Um, from what I understand, if you set them on, you can get some shimmering effects. Um, negative load bias I have that clamped. That can affect performance and quality especially with the blurries. Um, adjust load bias is um, set to zero. Force DXT3 OpenGL um, is on. As the name implies, that shouldn't really matter because that's an OpenGL setting. Pre-render limit. Um, the default is three, but I have it set to one. Um, I find it gives me a little better performance. Um, not really much that you'd um, really need to worry about. Okay. Okay, looks like we'll get through this in two parts. The last screen is the compatibility screen. Um, again, I have everything checked within the profile here. Um, for some reason, OpenGL multi display mode isn't on, but that doesn't matter for this application. Um, Anti-aliasing compatibility is set to um, general compatibility. Um, Anti-aliasing compatibility from DX10, that's a new setting within this um, new enhancer, is also set to general compatibility. OpenGL support is general compatibility. Force mit maps, um, I have trilinear. I was trying something, but normally I have that at bil bil bilinear um, because I use bilinear on the um, in FSX. Um, high Dynamic range HDR. I have that enabled. Um, that should always, as the um, enhancer will tell you, it should always be en enabled unless there's a problem or some other reason you want to turn it off. Um, conforming texture clamp, same difference. Um, it's on because you should have it on unless there's a problem. Uh, driver extension limit, I have that on, but it's set for zero, which is the default. Uh, that's basically f also for OpenGL. Um, Report OpenGL version, again, OpenGL. OpenGL control um, multitasking is on. Of course, that's OpenGL. OpenGL multi 
display mode I don't have checked there um, and um, normally I would set that to single display mode anyway um, dynamic tiling nobody seems to know what that does um, it's always set to one CPU multi-core support 